whiskey chicks. Although this isn't a chick, this is Steve. Uh, our new our rooster. New rooster. Uh, we don't swear he's the only one, but he's definitely a rooster. Um, this is the one that had the hurt leg, and it still is a bum leg. Um, Looks like the ship is listing. Yeah. No. Anyway, so this is Steve, and, and his leg is a bit of a, a, a uh, not a mess. Why is it swollen? Uh, that's because it's bent. Anyway, no, he, it, it, he gets around pretty well. Um, you want to give him some drugs? Oh, num num. Um, anyway, um, we're trying to make him nice, but we know he'll be a jerk before too long anyway. So, grubs. Um, want some grubs? Mm -hmm. And those are yours. Oh, that says, yeah, I will have some grubs. Hey, girl. Instead, he's going to peck at your what? camera on your iPad. Um, anyway, happy July. Um, that, that really chicken, I think that chicken was drinking my drink. Yeah, she was freaking mine earlier. So, <laughs> Come on, uh, beautiful day today. Uh, I spent a lot of it preparing to go to Honduras, um, meeting up with Holly and Jim. Um, and then we made, Gabe made smash burgers. Yeah, and we made ice cream, so. Uh, going back to the, to the Honduras thing. Right, the Honduras thing. Everyone has really chipped in, and that has been going. Yeah, it has been. Uh, you know, I put that wish list out on Amazon. Every single thing on that list has been purchased. We're just very grateful because that just helps us to help more animals once we get to Honduras. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, we're a little bit worried that in Honduras our our um, living conditions there um, might be too nice for us compared to our past <laughs> history in Haiti. Um, uh, it it doesn't seem like we'll be having nearly as much hardship <laughs> as we had in Haiti, but we'll see. Um, so we fly out. Um, Wednesday. Kevin is not going the, on this one. Maybe the next time after we scoped out this location. Um, so this time it's going to be um, Holly and, and her husband Jim and um, me and uh, Dr. Lisa Puschek and Ada Reyes and Josue Perdomo and Julissa whose last name I forget um, and Ada's cousin Ara who's going to be in Honduras is going to help us too. So mm -hmm. Um, we're pretty excited. Um, bags are packed. We're ready to go. Standing here beside. Bags are packed. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm ready. I'm, to you, when you said that, standing I, I was gone. here beside your door. Anyway, so so pretty excited. And thank you, thank you, everybody who has contributed so generously to that that endeavor. Does he need um, more grubs? Here's some might. grubs, baby. So grubs. Hmm, thanks. Throwing grubs at me. <laughs> so um, stop it. You know, having a hard time getting all of our, our kiddos in the same zip code right now. Um, Nathan is in Manchester. Manchester, England. Yeah. yeah. Um, Abby is about to leave for San Antonio for canine yeah. officer okay. training for three months. Um, <laughs> Joe just got back from Deep Creek Lake or someplace. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and is headed in a couple days over to Nathan and Abby's house to pet sit. Becca's in Pensacola, I think, visiting her boyfriend, Nathan. Is she still um, there? I don't know. Yeah. Mm. I think she's coming here next. I'm, I'm not sure. She can work from anywhere. So um, anyway, and, and Gabe's been here helping keep the, the fort. Yeah. Together. So uh, and to, to reiterate, Gabe made his version of Smash Burgers. Those were the best hamburgers I've ever had. Yeah. Basically, those were, those were squished them in a pan. Yeah, well, <laughs> with, with beef grease and butter. So he wanted, uh, so he wants a, uh, a, 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 a what, what, the, 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 the iron cans, the, 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 car, the carbon steel pans. And I've got nothing but cast iron at the house. And so, you know, I was out and I, I, I called him and I said, hey, do you want to, uh, stainless steel, right? And he's like, well, you know, uh, okay, you know, as long as it's like this or this or that or that. And so I found exactly what he wanted, which is this giant Cuisinart. Is this at the thrift store? Yeah, yeah. Uh, a, a, a giant, giant 
Cuisinart, uh, cast iron, for twelve cents. Uh, no, it was like sixteen bucks. Mm. But you know, uh, but I don't have any cast or not, uh, or stainless steel pans, so I felt bad because you know he he wants to cook in those, and so I I brought that home and he's like, wow, this is great. And so Gabe uh, is very scientific about his cooking. Yeah. Um, he knows all the science about ingredients and and heat and and. Well, we can thank we, part of that is we can thank Paula. Yeah. She gave me that fat, salt, acid book, right, for Christmas, which he just took, <laughs> and it just went back to school with him. Right. Uh, you know, I flipped through the book. It was a great book, and so he's been he's been all about that and. Uh, He's, he's doing great with that. He loves that. Yeah. Oh, what did he get in organic? Organic chemistry. I think he got, I think he got A's and a, maybe a B plus in one semester. Yeah. Um, yeah. So just loved organic chemistry. Yeah. He has there to do biochem next. So mm -hmm. anyway, so it's been Is a beautiful worse? weekend and, and um, I'm excited to, to head out and, and hope <laughs> next time I can take take you along and maybe Gabe you know Gabe, Gabe, Gabe yeah. is interested in veterinary medicine I think this will be a very eye-opening to him um, anyway uh, proud of the team that we're taking with us very excited about that mm -hmm. um, so, really telling us that, huh? Ada is amazing yeah. um, she's got family down there and it's it's outside of Tegucigalpa I don't know if I said that right um, Honduras and um, they have a place for us to stay and a place that we're setting up that's right downstairs from where we're, we're staying so we don't have to do the big road trips that we're used to. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I think we have electricity and running water, which is amazing. Wait, we had, we had electricity and running water in Haiti. Not at the N surgery sites. Not site. at the surgery sites. We have that yeah. at the surgery sites this time. So oh. we won't have to pull circle around the trucks with their <laughs> one headlights. <laughs> to, mm -hmm. to finish into the night so we're hoping we're gonna get a, a lot are you gonna do it out in the open or apparently it's indoors what yeah that's crazy indoors talk. that's crazy talk <laughs> yeah so anyway well um, I'm, I'm sure you'll be able to do a lot of good down there yeah pretty excited and, and again um it really warms my heart the number of people that just without without question donated Mm -hmm. the things that we need to go and and that includes a couple of the um, manufacturers the drug manufacturers I reached out to them and asked for vaccines and Holly did also and they just donated vaccines vaccines are very expensive and and we have enough vaccines I think to vaccinate everybody that wants every animal that needs one in that in this in this community so um, right. so that was Zoetis and um, Patterson that donated those and so um, Anyway, yeah, headed out. Now, I'm soon not sure and people completely grasp the impact that uh, you know this sort of trip can do mm -hmm. to a society. You know, if you think about you know the animals in that in that community, right? right? And if all of a sudden you know a majority or a large percentage of them get this kind of care. It changes their temperament, they, right. you know, the fighting, you know, all of that changes right. for the better. And I think in Honduras, we'll find that most of the animals that we see are actual pets that are very, very um, well loved and cared for. Um, they just don't have access to these kind of services. And mm -hmm. um, in Haiti, part of what we were trying to do is is instill in the community the value of, of pets and, and that if you're compassionate with them, they're 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 better companions and so i think that the the community will be quite different in honduras and this community that we're going to so mm -hmm. um it'll be a little bit different experience and um yeah. oh and so people know the reason why we're trying to treat you know we, you can notice that we're treating uh steve steve a little better you know i keep tossing him grubs you know <laughs> because i like allison covered in grubs Go figure, uh, but uh, no, we're 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 trying to have a better rooster this time. We did this last time though too. We were, uh, you know what? I read I read that some roosters are assholes, and I think, uh, and I think, 
what's his name was absolutely an asshole. Was an asshole. I'm sad that we don't have him anymore. I mean, I, well, I miss yeah. I miss him crowing. I know some of our neighbors don't. But. <laughs> this one, this one's gonna. This one can can is gonna. Oh, look at that. He's. I didn't notice his. his I, I saw his waddle. Yeah. I saw his his uh, his crest was coming in. Yeah. But not his waddle. Yeah. Uh, he made when when they were in the house. He made some little crow noise. Yeah. And. And I think everyone ridiculed him, so you know the, the social pressure to do a good crow is there for him. Hmm? Hey, Steve. Yeah, the few months More he's gross. gonna be chasing us out of the yard, just like Marlon. Did. Yeah, yeah. Well, Marlon was doing his job, but I I did read that you know some people have nice roosters, and you know, and and some people just have assholes. And oops. I we're think. due for a nice rooster. Yeah, we're due. For, yeah. This is know, one unless, the... unless this is absolutely the wrong thing to do for him. <laughs> what? Feed uh, him grubs. Yeah. So this is one of the older hens here. Um, I have to think they're feeling pretty free right now without Marlin to harass them all the time. Well, and you know, pecking order. Pecking order is a real thing among among chickens, right? And we just moved the the new girls in, and you hear a lot of fighting going on behind us that's the old girls just just pecking and just getting at the, the young ones it, it can get quite brutal we did run some well we this part of we didn't have anything to do with it that part of we did all the work he ran some um wire around the bottom electric wire around the bottom oh, it's, of, it's of the a, enclosure with we we installed an electric fence yeah okay and the electric fence oh, uh, you know, came 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 about because of because of Marlin's demise, right? right. You know, Marlin was and we an were asshole, losing but one or he two chickens every month or so. Yeah, but Marlin didn't need that kind of treatment. Yeah. Right. Uh, and so I I just decided, okay, let's put in an electric fence. I think it was so, Terry Davis's idea. She mentioned that one of the zoos down there uses it. So. Uh, well, so the electric fence wraps around the the outside where the where the fence uh, uh bounds the uh the forest you know where the foxes come in jeez honey yeah you found you found where all the grubs are you're the winner uh it goes around that way and then it comes in uh around the outside of the chicken uh zone but it goes into the dog pen so Which butts right it, up against the chicken pen. Yeah, the chicken pen and the dog pen butt right up. So I used it to, to create this, you know, little six to eight inch barrier to keep the dogs packed. And it's working. So 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 our neighbors, um, if you're hearing evident uh, every now and then a dog screaming here, that's um, they, because they got a little close to the fence. And they, they seem to have learned yeah, pretty they, quickly. They, they don't continue to scream. They just yelp and then run, run to the house. Yeah. Because you know some hand of God touched them. So. Yeah. So. Uh -huh. Anyway. What else? Uh, Lazy summer, summer days. Yeah. Summer, summer, summer's here. We're, you know, we're in the the middle of July, which seems, it seems like it took forever to, for summer to get here, and now it's just burning through real fast. Uh -huh. It's, it's going great. Feel yeah. nice? Mm -hmm. No yeah. wine for roosters. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Do you remember this? No. He's... Jesus, he just sneezed on me. Huh? Great. Avian yeah. flu. Avian flu. Avian <laughs> flu. So, you know, uh, we've got a couple new strains of, of COVID coming. Um, and, you know, in order to get it done. Honduras, you know, there's a lot of paperwork I, we have to um, f fill out to, to prove that we're vaccinated and such. And um, what I was listening as I was packing today, I was listening to the monkeypox thing. I think that could become the next big issue. Um, there is a vaccine available. There but, is, yeah, but they, they can't get enough of it. Right. And so they're prioritizing it against the high risk groups. Right. And so. Yeah, so hopefully no, I don't get I, monkey pox. <laughs> I, I, I was clearing part of the, 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 the forest where the uh, electric fence was going in, and I'm pretty sure I got poison ivy. No, poison ivy, <laughs> right? 
Because all the monkeys. Are right, because our goats are gone. Uh, yeah. But uh, so, pretty sure I got poison ivy. But I'm like looking at it, going, "That could be monkey pox, <laughs> right?" So I looked up monkey pox, which which looks like just acne, right? Yeah. And then I'm like, well, I could have had my monkey pox all along. Here, just take it. I just wanted to get this one chicken up here. Yeah. Um, what one of the one of the furies? No, one of the the Brahmas. Because he eat ones. Yeah, Brahmas, right? Um, Brahma. Yeah. So hopefully I don't get monkey pox while I'm out. It's always something. Apparently it's not very lethal. It's just unsightly. What? Like you get this? <laughs> Pox, you get pox, a pox on thee. A pox. So why would you say that? Huh? Why would I say that? Anyway, that's all from here. Um, might sit out here for another couple hours. It's very pleasant. Mm. But cheers to all of you. Cheers. You didn't turn it on. No, I've got a cat. I've got a cat. You have nothing. I've got a basket. Yeah. You're closer. Oh, wait, this chicken's about to come get in my lap. No, I don't think so. Yeah, I think she is. No. Good night, Be everybody. Safe.